You did good actually the first time. Were, were you able to look at it to see if it was no, covering the I, whole thing? I see a little red light flashing, so I know it worked. Now you pressed it, right? Yeah. So it's running. Oh, you guys, thank you for sitting in your seats. Much gratitude. All right, we are reconvening the open session now, and the city attorney's report on closed session. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, members of the city council. I'm going to take uh, each one of these a little bit slowly here. There was no reportable action on number one. There was no reportable action on number two. With respect to number three, there was a 5-0 vote to appoint Dale uh, Mondre as acting interim city manager. And in addition, uh, just so the public knows, the there is um, an agreement uh, on open session, which is number seven. Uh, for number four, I'm gonna actually read it. With respect to item number four, the city council voted 5-0 to appoint Charles Maynard as interim city manager um, with the direction that the uh, city attorney negotiate the terms and conditions and compensation of an employment agreement, which shall be presented to the city council um, at the following uh, city council meeting for its review and consideration. Number five, the city council voted 5-0 to accept Mr. Magana's 30 days notice of resignation, which he provided consistent with the terms of his employment agreement and to publicly acknowledge and recognize Mr. Magana for his commendable, reliable, and exemplary service to the city and the many hours he volunteered to the community um, by offering him paid administrative leave for his final 30 days with the city and five months severance. Wow. That concludes my reportable action. Thank you. Um, at this time, we're gonna reopen public comments. If you have not spoken to the enemy, you may speak now for your three minutes. Ooh, we can't speak in response to that? You cannot. That's intriguing. Is there anybody else who'd like to speak, speak in public comments? Final call. Public comments are closed. We are now in the administrative calendar. Item number six, consideration of police chief employment agreement. Oh, can you talk on this one? City Attorney? The item you have before you tonight is um, is the uh, employment agreement by between uh, the city of Desert Hot Springs and Dale Mondry. And uh, it, this item is for your consideration and approval. If you have any questions with respect to um, the agreement, the I would like to add um, two items in the agreement. Oh, I'm sorry, not, not this item, I'm sorry, the next one. All right, we'll open up to public comments at this point. Anybody would like to speak, please state your name. Your three minutes will begin. I believe the clock is working now. Yeah, <coughs> cool. Almost start. Hi, Nicole Vandela, but I'm from Tapa. Okay, so this is really interesting. Um, yeah, having the former police chief come in as an interim, and then having our police chief as a city manager. In the world I live in, that is called a full implementation of the police state. And I have to trust that somehow, in this circle that goes around this little speaker thing here, that I am always safe to say I do not consent to a police state government. None of your officers may touch my body. 
No other human except for those to whom I give my consent to may harm me in any way. <clears throat> Period. Um, I'm sorry, you, I have three minutes. I have three minutes and I'm talking about, we have a police chief employment agreement. Okay? I have three minutes and I get to talk as long as I want. For you to say whatever you like. Yes, it is. That was during public comment. No, you know what? I'm talking about the fact that you are about to hire our police chief as city manager. And that is to me. The definition of a police state, especially given that cooperation agreement with the police association. And the mess with that association really doesn't make this make sense to me as a citizen at all. None of this makes sense. I'm very confused. Is the Constitution of the United States of America not recognized in this room? Do I not, as a woman, have the ability to tell my police, who is now the city manager and has all this control, that no, none of your men can touch my body, none of your women can either. I'm a sovereign being under the Constitution Please, let me live in peace. But this is not a good viewing from the perspective of everybody who does not consent and does not vote here. Which, how many votes did we have? Maybe 5,000 in a city of 27,000? Interesting, is all I'll say. Anyone else like to speak to this item? This is actually so that everybody understands this is consideration of the police chief's employment agreement. So if you're in a speech of the agreement, please do. I'm trying to get an understanding, a, a clearer understanding of what is, what is going on. Um, did we make the, the chief, Mondary is not, we're making him the city, the city manager now? Or, or are we making uh, the previous, I don't it's not clear as to what you said that that he is the new city manager. Mr. Gerald, Gerald, Mr. Pope, say your question, and then once you're oh, done, you can't I'm trying to. Answer. Okay, yeah. we'll answer it for you. <laughs> I'm trying to get a clear understanding as to who's got what job. Got it. We'll, we'll okay, clarify thank you. It in our comments. Anybody else like to speak to this item? With that said, I'll close public comments on this item. I'll open it up to council member comments. Mr. Betts, maybe you can clarify. Um, Mr. Pope, just to clarify a question for everybody else. Um, if the contract is agreed to and accepted um, between the council and, um, can I get time on you up here? Chuck Maynard, thank you, sorry. Um, then he will be our interim city manager. That's what I've heard. Okay, in the meantime, we have a void uh, where we have in this process between now and the time that if that is ratified, we have some needs in the city manager position. And we want to make sure everything runs smoothly. So in that situation, uh, Chief Mondary is stepping in as an acting temporary uh, interim city manager just to cover this short period of time. And we're very thankful that he's willing to do that. And we're very confident in his ability to do that. Um, and thank you, Chief, for willing to do that. So um, I just have a couple questions. This is the item that we're working on now is the employment contract for our chief of police in the context in which we're usually used to seeing him. And my understanding is that this is a five-year term. Well, which one are we on? Six. Well, no. Number right, six. Number, no, item number six is the chief's employment contract. So when he returns as a police chief, this is the contract that he'll have, and he's asked for five years in the okay. contract. So in the context, everybody recognizes our chief. We want to extend to him uh, a contract that lets him know we'd like to have him around here for a good long time because I think this community likes him a great deal, and I certainly do. And uh, so my understanding is, is the term of this contract is for five years. Am I correct? 
That's not correct. Um, the term of the contract is actually, it, it, it specifically says that um, employees, uh, employment person to the agreement shall co commence as of June 22nd, 2015, and shall continue until terminated pursuant to this section two. As far as I see, um, which contract are we on? We're on that one, but it's not. It doesn't say uh, five years. There was no um, like end date for that. It, it, it was open ended. My understanding, I'm I'm at will. I know there's severance language in there. But if you would like to put a magic number on that, um, I'm willing to do that. Okay, I was under the completely different impression. I think other council members here were as well. Um, but um, if you're happy with this contract, um, tell me what this contract is doing then. Can we get an explanation on the terms and details of this contract, please? The terms are is that the, the chief will have a contract with the city um, for a, a time as specified in the agreement, which is not necessarily five years, but it's until terminated. And it provides uh, the, the chief with a starting salary, which I think it's, it's a little bit higher now, but a starting salary of 147500 per year plus benefits. There's also certain um, expenses, I think, that he's entitled to in there as well. And it also provides him with, uh, with severance um, should, that, should that ever arise. So. so what's different than what's now? Currently, there's no contract. Okay, so we're putting in a contract for the chief then. What, what was it? We're putting in a contract for the chief. Correct. Well, we need to explain that to the public. I don't think they understand. Oh, okay. Mr. This Pope's is, this is confused. I'm trying to clarify. I'm sorry. There is an employment agreement. There's a contract now for the chief of police. So the chief's been operating without a contract. Correct. Okay, and now he's getting a contract. And we're all happy about that. Sorry, I didn't mean yeah. that. Any so, other comments? I'm sorry, we didn't. I just was you know, I apologize. Since everybody's ready, happy to make a motion to approve the chief's contract. I have nobody else to queue any bills up here. Motion to approve. approve. Second. There's a motion. You have a second. Any more discussion? Please vote. Mr. Pope, that make Mr. Clerk, City, you on the Madam City Clerk. Uh, I just wanted, are we going to have yeah, a city plan? On one second, please. I have, to, I have to hear the vote. This is actually a law for the state of California. Motion. <laughs> Motion passes unanimously. Thank you very much. I will need you to wait on the next item if you have another specific question, please. Okay. Item number seven is consideration of acting interim city manager employment agreement. Madam uh, city, Deputy City Attorney. Mr. Mayor, members of the City Council, thank you very much. Um, this again would be an agreement uh, with Mr. Mondre acting interim city manager um, would be a, uh, uh, it's intended I think to be kind of a, a shorter term contract until um, the city council appoints uh, and approves an interim, um, an interim city manager. Um, there are two items that I'd like to uh, address. Uh, number one is uh, section 5A where uh, the salary, the salary uh, currently was, is left blank and uh, we would like to insert that his salary is commensurate with the current pay as a uh, police chief as of June 24th, um, which is today's date, 2016. And in addition, um, uh, the city attorney tweaked a little bit of language in um, in section nine of the agreement that I was just handed, and it pretty much had to do with um, with his 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 role um, as the actor interim city manager versus his role as the um, the police chief. I don't know exactly where it is in this, but I did just receive it. Are there public comments for you? Oh, no, we want to finish listening to her. Nicole, I will run the meeting. Thank you for your that opinion. Was all. Thank you. We'll go to public comment now, if it's okay with Ms. Van Bale. First three minutes, state your name and you can make your comments. Uh, Gerald Pope. I, uh, I just want to know who will be the city manager of 
for how long the, the chief would be the city manager and the chief of police at the same time. Thank you. We'll for get some that, point. We'll get that answer first. Thank you. Anybody else like three minutes? State your name and your three minutes. We'll begin. No, if we get answers to those questions, it is so hard to trust a police chief to be a city manager when you have been abused by them before because of what you thought. And I still come here and share with you my thoughts. I'm grateful for Mr. Pope's questions. And I'm thankful for the explanation, Mr. Betts. Sometimes the details are important. And when you get an agenda online where all you see is the police state coming into play, you have to sit in yourself and know that when he was interim chief while we were looking for a real chief, he did nothing but protect me and my daughter in this city. And this gentleman is doing the same thing. So I appreciate you trying to change the agreement between the public, single mom, and her police chief. I hope we find somebody to replace Mr. Magana because he was really a good man. And I think we bullied him too much, and I don't think the chief will get bullied anymore here. Thanks. Thank you. Dave Nunn, resident of Desert Hot Springs. Uh, I'd like to thank the council for obviously a lot of consideration on this uh, difficult matter. I'd also like to thank uh, Dale Mondary and I think that you have done an outstanding job in filling an immediate gap that's temporary, laying the groundwork on completing this. I compliment each of you and I compliment Dale and uh, also uh, compliment Chuck. You've done a great job, thank you. Thank you, you guys like to speak for three minutes. Final call, close public comment. Mr. Pope, I'm gonna to try to answer your question also. We right now do not have a contract with Mr. Maynard, who has accepted the interim position. So that contract has to be negotiated. In the meantime, including the last few days, city council has now appointed officially the acting city interim city manager to the police chief, Dale Mondary. Um, if for some, some reason in the negotiations break down, he will continue in that position until the next interim can be hired. Uh, but as of now, another special meeting will be called to official action will need to be taken by the city council. Uh, and we're looking to do that on Monday morning at 7 a.m. Should be a very short meeting before some of us go to work. And um, that's just a, a point if over the next few days, the city attorney and Mr. Maynard can negotiate the contract for that position. Is that clarified a lot for yes. us? Thank you, Mr. Maynard. I mean, uh, Mr. Mondary, would you call me Mr. now because you're wearing a suit. Chief Monetary, would you like to add anything to this about your position and who's running this shop over there for you? Yes, as of Wednesday morning, um, I have, for lack of a better term, relinquished um, the decisions, day-to-day -day operations of the police department to Commander Henson, who um, I appointed as the acting chief of police, so I am not making any decisions related to the, the police department. Um, all those are being made by Commander Henson. The only other thing I add was if um, Chief Maynard and the city attorney's office, why don't you guys stay afterwards, let's get this thing hammered out by eight o'clock tonight, and um, I would appreciate that. <coughs> Yes, members of all. And then in regards to the permanent uh, city manager, that's not yet something that we're, that we're considering today. So 
Today, all it is is we need a temporary city manager to the temporary city manager. <laughs> so that's why Dow Laundry has been so you know, gracious to accept. He's gonna be the temporary to the temporary city <laughs> manager. And um, if all goes well and according to plan and we come to an agreement with Chuck Maynard, then um, we'll have him be the interim city manager. And he'll be with us until we find a permanent city manager. Thank you. Thank you. Comments from council? I'll entertain a motion. Motion to approve. Second. Any discussion? Please vote. <coughs> Motion passes unanimously. Thank you very much. And our final item, please listen to our city of, deputy city attorney on this. This is just kind of housekeeping stuff that has to be done for um, banking purposes. This is the interim city manager authority. Uh, deputy city attorney. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, members of the city council. What you, you have before you is a resolution um, authorizing the interim city manager to have the same authority and duties as a duly appointed city manager. I would like to make uh, one revision into that, which uh, wherever in the resolution it says interim city manager, to also include acting interim city manager, just in case God forbid there's an emergency and uh, Mr. Mondry needs to go ahead and, and you know sign some financial documents or something like that. Um, so the purpose of the proposed resolution is to provide pretty much the same powers and duties um, to the uh, acting interim city manager and to the interim city manager um, as a regular city manager, but specifically for the purposes of uh, executing, fine, well, what's, I should say one of the purposes of executing financial documents. Uh, we have, the city had a request from the bank uh, to please have a resolution um, placed on tonight's agenda so that, uh, you know, uh, for financial purposes, cutting, somebody has this signature uh, authority for cutting checks. Um, that concludes my staff report. If there's any other question, Mrs. Mr. Tanner's also here. Move staff recommendation, please. Second. Any discussion, any public comment? Oh yeah, oh shish. What do you think? Interim city manager authority. No. You know, the city manager has to do what the city manager does and most of our staff are already doing it. So I don't think we need to really worry about what needs to be done because I think everything is kind of routine. What I worry about is, does the agreement for the city manager, God, I don't want a police chief, I'm sorry. I really don't trust the police. The authority they're given needs to be held by U5. You need to know how to manage this city. They need to do it, but you need to know how to do it. And we're bringing in medicine. That's a lot of responsibility. To care for the medicine is the structure upon which it grows is extremely important for those of us who understand the medicine. So the authority is yours. Thank you for doing what you do. Go carefully, go slowly. and let the routine happen. Thank you. Thank you, please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you very much. At this point, so we are adjourned.